Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to some Eden Brawl. Today we're gonna be spectating a game, which means I'm gonna be able to uh, practice my casting. Let's put this up. Shh, don't show- whoa, cancel that, cancel that. Sh don't show the scoreboard and let's just jump into it. So we have a 5v5 yeah, today sense. and we see the red team yeah, starting to jumped. chip away at the blue team's, team's health. Which is going to be uh, pretty useful now that they are starting to carry the ball. We see Lumama grabbing the ball and starting to advance. Uh, but blue team is very aware of that. And they're going to try to stop it with a very well placed jump pad. That's going to uh, very much slow them down. Uh, but now we see a bit of stalling from the blue team. As one of them, their member uh, is still back. I believe we have one of them member that is uh, having a bit of trouble connecting to the game uh, so that might be the advantage uh, the red team has for now Sitam is going to grab the ball and we know he knows what he's doing and that's going to be probably an uncontested score oh, the sun is oh it wasn't quite enough to pop the ball unfortunately so that's going to be 10 points going to the red team now blue team they pick up a a kill right there and with dark mage uh, still in their territory he might be overextending here yeah, might be taken sense. down and that's that's what the blue team would need to yeah, grab the ball and can. start advancing to, to maybe score uh, for their own benefit uh, but looks like the red team is gonna try to stall as their member are starting to respawn uh, is that going to be enough to stop the assault though? That's what we're gonna have to see. The blue line is being pushed right now. Uh, the line of scrimmage is being uh, pushed back and the tower is now down, which means the blue team has even footing to fight in this territory now. And we see FF jump is starting to make his way across the field towards gold. Now we not positioning himself in the end zone, but that's not gonna matter as FF jump does take the score here anyway. So we have a 10 to 10 right now, a tie on our hands. Uh, next team that's gonna carry the ball in the end zone is gonna take this round. Uh, so every team is trying right now to get some kind of advantage and it looks like we have dark mage uh, no dark bot either disconnected to or sitting this one out i don't know but it looks like we have a 4v4 right now which is going to be uh should be very balanced uh, at the very least and the blue team is uh taking the ball and advancing right now and they're coming with a vengeance uh, the first uh, goal they they took uh, they didn't like so now they're going very aggressive on the enemy team uh, is that going to be enough we see redfield completely ignored by uh, most of the team the red team and is going to be able to take that score taking the first round for the blue team all right that was a good round good round we see now <laughs> the blessing name the blessing name we cannot choose a blessing as we are spectators we're not players in this game let's open the scoreboards see how this is going so uh this round wasn't very uh weren't very much kills in this round as i watching this and uh, now we did pick up three and David did pick up two, Redfield one. On the other side, it looks like there were no kills uh, from the red teams, which probably uh, cost them the first round. They had good carrying, but now they have to work on their team fighting because that's uh, good carrying is not going to be enough by itself to win this game, uh, even if it's the the end goal, uh, the end goal to carry the ball into the end zone. Um, it's not going to be enough if you cannot fight. Uh, so let's just jump into the second round, see if the red team can come back on their feet. And we see the blue team advancing very aggressively with David on the front. Let's hide this now. And now we just uh, trying to zone out uh, C Tom. And Ooh, looks like sense. he's going to be successful in this endeavor. But Lumalo is jumping in now and Ooh, grabbing the ball. Too. Are they going to be able to do better this time uh, last time they already took an early score and it looks like Lumama is uncontested in pushing the scrimmage line which is going to be very good for the red team 
as they try to go into the end zone. And now the tower is down. Oh, a good disorientation is going to let Sitam advance. Is he going to be fast enough to get the score? It looks like it, but now we're trying with everything they have to sum. Oh, and it's not going to be enough. Just a second away from popping the ball. But Sitam manages to grab a hold of it and keep it. And it looks like Red Team once again is going to take the first score for 10 points. And now blue team is starting to fall apart as a few uh, kills were picked up uh, for the red team. But we see one of their members is going to go down uh, in the blue team's territory. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like uh, we have a few people who disconnected, uh, unfortunately. And... Dark Mage. We have a lot of disconnection today. I don't know uh, what's happening. A lot of new players, so we don't know if their their gaming rigs are exactly what they would need to play this game. Uh, we don't know. Or uh, we played a game yesterday with a couple of people, and it seemed pretty stable. We didn't have any problems of connection. So I don't know what is happening today. Maybe something with the server, we don't know. But right now, big team fight happening. Heaven's gonna go down as the blue team is starting to pick up kills. They're now advancing. A big stun! Is that gonna be enough to take down two members of the enemy team? Doesn't look like it. And T Darka is gonna get away. But Lumama is now in trouble. C Tom's trying his best to keep his team alive. Is he gonna stay alive himself? It looks like they are both in trouble. And Sitam's gonna go down, followed soon by Lumama. Oh, that was a miss! Maybe they're gonna live! And no, that wasn't quite enough, fortunately, for the red team. And now, now he's starting to push. Darka is going to do their best to try to zone them out and stall to win a little bit of time for their team to respawn. And it looks like it's going to be enough as Sitam is now pushing the enemy team into the tower range. And now he's now in trouble. They're going to go down. FF Jump is going to follow soon, I believe. Unless they are able to get out of there. But no, I don't think they would be. And now Red Team is going to pick up the ball once again. And they're going to be able to start advancing. That's what they were missing last round. They wouldn't be able to keep the, their advantage up. But right now it looks like their defense is back online. And they are able to maintain control of this ball. A good repel is going to send that gravity well backwards. And now we have a 4v4 coming along. A good stun is going to start things off. Another stun from the janitor this time. And big combos coming from the blue team. Is that going to be enough? It looks like there's not enough damage. But as I say that, two members of the enemy teams are going to fall. And Sitam is in a bit of a pickle as he's going to fall too. And, well, they... They made me a liar on that one. It looks like there is enough damage. And now blue team is advancing. The tower is already offline. Which means a good pass to David could be all they need right now. But looks like Lumama knows that. And is placing themselves in a way that they would stop that pass from happening. But Tom is going to be able to insert, intercept the pass that was going to Naui. And now Nikolai uh, is going to be able to pick, the, uh, pick up the ball. And uh, maybe pass it to Tom. it looks like. Which is not a bad choice, not a bad choice. Now he's gonna pop their ult, but I don't think that's gonna be very effective, unfortunately for him. And Seatop is now advancing. This is going back and forth, looks like. I'm not sure there's gonna be another score in this uh, in this round. It looks like with 20 seconds left, this is gonna go maybe in over time, but maybe it's just gonna end with the red team uh, having a 10 point advantage, and that's gonna be enough. The ball does pop from Seatop. I. He's stunned, but he does pick it back up. Looks like with four seconds left, uh, he, he could just leave it now. But no, we are going to pop into overtime. If he had just let it go at the right moment, that would have stopped. And Lumaba, unfortunately for the red team, is going to pick up the ball. Maybe they're not aware of the overtime going on right now. Uh, but that's going to let the blue team pick up the ball. And that may be enough for them to pick the round since they did... Uh, they do have more kills right now, which means a, a score for 10 points will tie the points and leave them winner of the rounds, uh, with the tiebreakers being the, the number of kills. So let's see where this goes. Now, 
a red team back from uh, their elimination. FF Jump is gonna pick it up and he's gonna jump and that's gonna be it! Second round goes to the blue team, Circuit Breakers. Unfortunate! A couple of times here, just with the overtime, if this ball had been dropped or not picked up, actually. The overtime would have ended and that would have gone to the red team. So a bit of a misplay there for the red team, it looks like. Unfortunately for the red team, looks like there was a bit of awareness missing for them. Uh, I'll say too, a lot of, of players in this game today are newer players. So of course, I don't expect them to know all the mechanics and I'm absolutely not hating. Uh, I'm just trying to <laughs> improve, do my casting as if this was a competitive game, which it's very much not with a lot of newer players. I think four or five of the ten players are uh, first timers, actually, so absolutely no big deal today. Uh, but unfortunately, that was a bit of a misplay if they just let the overtime end, red team would have picked that round tying the score but uh, right now blue team has a two round lead and we'll see if that's gonna be enough and uh, now big stuns coming on uh, dark mage already almost 50 percent of their health missing blue team is doing a lot of damage and they're coming in hot uh, but red team is now starting to retaliate with some damage of their own looks like it's not gonna be enough to be very meaningful uh, but david is gonna go down very quickly actually uh, so the red team did pick up the first kill, but now a couple of their members are pretty low on health and first is gonna fall, uh, leaving the blue team with uh, good odds of winning this team fight, I believe, even though they lost the first player that was focused a bit better, but uh, blue team overall had more damage output, I believe, which means only Seatom and Lumama are now up, but Tidarka is gonna join the battle once again now. And blue team right now may be in the same situation as the red team with uh, some health missing might be uh, might be overextending now but it looks like they're fairly healthy uh, and they're gonna stick to this uh, to this assault uh, we'll see where it leads they did push the line of scrimmage far enough that the tower is uh, this uh, is off and Redfield looks like is gonna be able to be uncontested on this score. Gonna take it pretty easily. And that's gonna be 10 points for the blue team. First time they pick up the first score in this game. Uh, unfortunately, Redfield looked like may have had some lag or a small disconnection, we don't know. Uh, but uh, they are back on the game. So let's see how it goes. Blue team does manage to grab the ball once again and start push and start pushing the line already. Uh, good repel from Mumama is gonna save them a lot of damage, but looks like uh, David's gonna do a lot of damage and followed up by Naoi and Red uh, Redfield. That's gonna be enough to take down one member of the red team. And big combos coming from the blue team is gonna deal a lot of damage. Another member of the red team falls. Blue team is really picking themselves back up. Uh, but it looks like now he's gonna pop his ult, but that's not quite enough to finish off uh, the red team. But they are now very low on health, including uh, Tom right now. And it looks like another member, Nikolainen, Nikolainen might be falling soon. Uh, no, they're gonna stay alive. Nikolainen. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just gonna do my best. Uh, member of the red team falls, but they lost control of the ball for a bit too long, unfortunately, which means it's back at the center of the map. Uh, they have to go pick it up now. Looks like they're gonna be success successful in retreating. Uh, but that did cost them a score yeah. and a round, because if they kept control of the ball, they would have most likely scored there. And now, oh, the detonation station is going to push FF Jump back as he tried to jump. He's going to be able to pass. Yeah, looks like it. Now he's going to pick up the ball. And now a lot of the red team members are behind the blue team. And now he's going to be able to be uncontested on this score. <laughs> All right. So let's look at this. Now we're doing some work here with a lot of damage, but David following uh, quite closely actually with more kills.
That's impressive coming from David. Impressive. Keeping up with Naoi is a feat. And this is gonna be the end of the... The end of this game. Woo! Impressive. That was an interesting one. Three rounds going from the blue team. Not enough... Uh, not enough strength on the red team to stop them, unfortunately, due to a little misplay. That's gonna be it for this game. I hope you enjoyed, because I really like I really like casting, and when I'm not playing, I can just focus on this tribe, and that's really something I should uh, work on right now. So that was fun. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be making much more content coming soon, so keep that in mind. Stay, stay, stay tuned. We're coming soon, and all that. I'll see you in a future video.